Welcome to Latino Review's first look at the Predator script. About 15 years ago, before Robert Rodriguez did Desperado, he took a writing assignment at Fox to do a sequel to Predator in the vein of James Cameron's Aliens. Fast forward 15 years later, and production is set to start soon on what Fox hopes will reinvent the Predator franchise. As we first reported here, Nimrod Antal is set to direct Predators from the script by Robert Rodriguez with revisions by Mike Finch and Alex Lidvack. Mike Finch and Alex Lidvack are the hot new writers who sold Medieval to New Regency earlier this year. The original Predator script was a masterpiece of sci-fi action, so we were curious to see if Predators matches up to the original. Latino Review was able to take a peek at a draft of the Predator script, dated July 12, 2009, and we're thrilled to report that it's awesome. A 90-page kick-ass sci-fi action movie worthy of the original. If Fox plays its cards right and lets Rodriguez and his team at Troublemaker do their thing, then trust us when we tell you they'll definitely have a blockbuster on their hands next summer. For purists, the script isn't some lame PG-13 follow-up. It's a bloody, violent, hard R script reminiscent of the original. It's already well known that the story for Predators takes place on the Predator home planet. Picture it as one big jungle from the Cretaceous period. But, in the pre-credit opening sequence, we meet our hero Royce, a Steve McQueen type, as he's chasing down an adversary on a rooftop. The chase ends with Royce killing his prey as a predator watches it all unfold. The predator then kidnaps Royce. After the credits, we catch up with Royce, who is doing a 160 mile per hour free fall toward the predator homeworld surface. His parachute opens, and a dazed and confused Royce lands in the jungle. Soon after, we meet seven other nasty kidnapped humans from around the globe who have similarly parachuted down into the planet's jungle. They are Cuchillo, a Mexican enforcer from Loseta drug cartel who has twin Uzis strapped to his back. Nikolai, a frightening bear of a Russian armed with a four-barreled gas-powered rotary machine gun. Isabel, a tough-as-nails woman armed with a sniper rifle who speaks French. Stans, a prisoner from San Quentin with a shaved head and a scorpion tattoo on his neck and armed with a prison-made knife. Mumbasa, an African member of the Sierra Leone Death Squad. Hanzo, a badass Japanese Yakuza enforcer. And finally, a small, unassuming man named Edwin, formerly one of the FBI's most wanted. We totally dig the multicultural angle as well as the main theme of the film being that the predators will be hunting some of the baddest individuals from planet Earth. Eight humans who are predators in their own right back on Earth. The eight humans soon realize that they are the prey in a macabre game of cat and mouse, and the eight take off on the run in the alien jungle. That is when the fun really begins, just like in the first Predator film when our heroes discovered that they were being hunted. The Predator planet is a game preserve, and our eight humans are the game and are hunted by alien Predator dogs, Predator Falcons, and the part that is the most cool, the Predator that is orchestrating everything and hunting our heroes is a super Predator. Think of a regular Predator jacked up on steroids. In the script, he is referred to as Black Super Predator, and if a regular Predator is a frightening prospect, this one is downright terrifying. Black Super Predator leads a hunting party of two other Super Predators. It's pretty much safe to say that the eight humans are screwed. At the script's midpoint, Royce and the crew eventually hook up with an American soldier, Nolan, who lives a Spartan existence in a cave and has managed to survive staying hidden from the Super Predators. We learn from Nolan that the Super Predators have been dropping humans into the game preserve for years. More complications arise for Royce and the others who are still standing as the Super Predators raise the stakes and really start to viciously hunt their prey. Like we said, the script is awesome, loaded with action, and we believe it's a worthy sequel to the original Predator. And that makes this a highly anticipated movie on our radar. Fox finally did the right thing in choosing to work with Robert Rodriguez and his super talented special effects team at Troublemakers Studios. So who will win this ultimate game of survival on the Predator planet? Well, you'll just have to wait until summer 2010 to find out. Let the strong survive. Oh, and one more thing. There's an awesome cameo written into the script that if all goes well, should get Predator fans fired up. Who's the cameo by? We won't say, but here's a small clue. Go! Get to the chopper! Until the next episode, we hope you've enjoyed Latino Review's first look at the Predator's script.